older the sun would shine, and here it is. It always comes out for the bride. We're gathered here this morning with great happiness and delight to celebrate the marriage of William and Han, two people who love each other just as they are, full of potential, with all that they have been and all that they are becoming. All of you here this morning have touched their lives. And as a result of your presence here now, it's my expectation that they have touched your lives in return. On behalf of William and Han, thank you so much for coming. We would also like to begin this morning by thanking those who are with us only in spirit. Those who have loved William and Han and gone before them, who now stand ready to light the way as they step out on the dawn of their new lives together. Han's father presents the bride for marriage along with her family and all their blessings. John, let me invite you to kiss your daughter for love. Don't move, stay there. Mom, your turn. Your turn. And William, let me invite you to go thank the parents and receive your bride. may come forward and you two may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, let me invite you to be seated. And let me ask you two to please face each other and join hands. We gather at the dawn of William and Han's new lives together in celebration of a relationship happily in existence. Today's celebration of mutual affection is the outward symbol of a public and private, inward and sacred commitment, a covenant that William and Han have already solemnized in their hearts. And today they have come here to be married, for marriage is the most sacred covenant that two people can make. William and Han met through Judy over here. She was a roommate. He used to come over to the house and hang out all the time. In fact, William and Han were such good friends that Han thought about introducing him to another woman. And then it occurred to her that he might be a good catch. And so thus you have been invited to witness, witness this public covenant today. The covenant that began when Han sent William a birthday cake at work. And because he is such a kind man, he saved a piece and he brought it home for her. And on that piece of cake, they placed a candle. And after William blew out the candle, Han asked the question that every woman wants to know when her man's keeping a secret, what'd you wish for? And at that point, William dropped on bended knee and stated that he would like for Han to be his wife. Well, she was so surprised she didn't answer. And so there he was, and finally he said, well, and after the resounding yes, that's the reason that we stand here today, as a result of their love, this wondrous, wondrous love. Marriage is more than merely making a life with someone. It's a special kind of sanctuary. Created in loving purpose, maintained by abiding will, and renewed daily through loving action. A good marriage must be created. It's the little things that are the big things. Never being too old to hold hands, never going to bed angry. It's having a common purpose, standing together, facing the world, forming a circle of love that gathers in both families. Marriage is the gift of one's heart and soul to another. By choosing to commit to this degree, no matter what, and to make public your choice, and to submerge and submit your relationship to the view of family and friends, is to say, that I will live in truth to what I say is the truth this day. That I have chosen you above all others that I have ever met or ever hoped to meet. That I desire to be faithful unto you because it is you that I love and I believe the love between us is sacred. I expect that you will change as I will change and I will encourage your growth as I'm sure you will encourage mine. I will be your partner I will care for you. I will nurture you. 
I will believe in you when nobody else does. I will practice patience and faith and do my best to free myself from hasty judgment. But most of all, I will love you today and all of our tomorrows because I want to share with you all that life has to offer. Therefore, I have cast my lot with you. I am bound to you always, for it is you that I love. I love you not only for who you are, but what I am when I am with you. I love you for not only what you have made of yourself, but the parts of you that you are sharing with me. I love you for joining your heart with my heart and passing over all the weak and foolish things and drawing out into the light all the things that no one cared enough about to ask or looked quite far enough to find. May every desire that you have for your love be fulfilled and may you be given the vision with which to clearly behold one another with genuine listening and an endless generosity of spirit with which to nourish one another's souls and sweetly keep the promises that you are about to make here today. Do you, William, want to marry Han, to happily hold her above all others, and to have her from this day forward as your bride and as your wife? You certainly do. <laughs> and do you, Han, want to marry William? to happily hold him above all others and to have him from this day forward as your groom and husband. I do. Before we start the vows and the ring exchange, it's my experience that until a bride and groom sit down to look at the video, they never really had an opportunity to see what their wedding day looked like. So I would like to invite all of you to prepare to hoot, holler, and wave well, I invite them to take a deep breath and look around at all the people who came to love and support them. <laughs> Don't look at me, look at her. <laughs> and please repeat after me. I take you, Han, I take you, Han to be my wedded wife, to, my wedded wife. to have and to hold from this day forward, from this day forward, for better for worse, for better for worse, for richer for poorer, for richer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to share my life with you, to share my life with you, as long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. And now I ask you, Han, to please repeat after me. I take you, William, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold. From this, day forward, from this day forward, for better or for worse, for, better or for, worse, for richer or for poorer, for richer or for poorer in, sickness and in, health, in sickness and in health, to share my life with you, as long as we both shall live. These rings are made of very precious metals, a symbol of the riches that reside in each one of you and the gifts that you bring to this union. And as any metal is purified by white hot heat of testing, so will your love be tested as you face the rest of your lives together. It's my expectation that your love can conquer them all. And as the elements from which these jewels are formed are as ancient as the stars and as shining of the mir as the miracle of your newfound radiance of love, wear them as a sign of the love ignited between the two of you. Let them be a public statement of having found your one true love, and may they be your most precious adornment. With this ring, With this ring I offer an everlasting symbol, offer an everlasting symbol of, our bond of, love, of our bond of love and of all the hopes and all the joys that I dearly behold in you. And as you place that ring on William's left hand, please repeat after me. William, it is you that I love. William, it is you that I love. With this ring, With this ring I offer an everlasting symbol, I offer an everlasting symbol of, our bond of, love. As our bond of love. 
and of all the hopes and all the joys that I most dearly behold in you. Sand is formed by the weathering and decomposition of rock, somewhat akin to the way that we become selfless when we fall in love. We give pieces of ourselves away. Sand is full of an abundant material called quartz, which is a traditional symbol of love, and a wonderful metaphor for a very important dynamic in marriage called flexibility. Although soil that's composed only of sand won't grow anything, if you add sand to soil, you get what I call soil light. It permits the movement of air in the soil, it improves the soil's ability to let go of things that aren't important, and it thereby increases the ease of growth. Yet sand is very strong. It's used to manufacture concrete, bricks, cement, mortar. Sand together is much stronger than sand alone. Some of the adversities of life, like rivers or rain or wind, push sand together to form dunes or to form burns, berms, where sand is stronger together, again, than it would be alone. These foundations are made stronger by adversities, but yet they're flexible enough to shift under the ceaseless pounding of waves, under the wind. Sand exposed to the white hot heat of that testing of marriage becomes glass. Again, presenting strength in numbers, grains that form together can never, ever be separated or returned to their original form. And so it is with your marriage. William and Han, you have just committed to sharing the rest of your lives with each other. Today, each of you has presented yourself to the other, preparing for union with the other. And each of you has willingly chose to set aside solitary exploration of yourselves to determine who you are in the presence and the love of each other. What I'd like to invite you to do at this point is to step forward and participate in the sand ceremony. We have red sand for joy and for the passion of love and white for the innocence and purity of the relationship you're about to begin. Please step forward, pour them together into the bowl so that they may never be separated.
I think, uh, I think we all saw this day coming. I mean, they've been dating since the beginning of time. You know, there was Adam and Eve, and then there was Ron Hunt, you know, dating, represent. So, you know, I, I just had no question. It was not a question of if, you know, but when they were going to do this. So, you know, Will Hahn, uh, you know, the love that you guys have together is just very special. And, you know, I just, you know, you're going to go through life that you have something that's, you know, going to be desired by many, but had by very few. So, my congratulations to you both. Yeah. 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 Next to you, who would like to be better toast to all the way? Thank you so much. Um, I guess they volunteered me to come on. <laughs> well, I've known Will and Han for a while. I've known Will longer since they were 19. Han's like the perfect roommate, you know, to live with, and I've always wanted to set her up with the perfect guy, and I never Whoa. think anybody's perfect for her. Ah. And then I told her one day, I have a really good friend, but I could only introduce you to him if you're good to him. Because if you break her his heart, I'll kill you. <laughs> so the same story, right? So what and then they knew each other through me, but then they never really hooked up until one day I'm gonna tell that story. We went to eat um, somewhere near Westminster and then after we had lunch, there was this bum like you know, just sitting out there, and then we were all heading to our car. But then Will, he runs back, and he just gave like a bum some money. And then from that point on, Han came home, we were sleeping, and then she said, Judy, I think I might date Will now. <laughs> so then, you know, it was happily ever after after that. I'm really happy you guys.
weakness and strength, happiness and sorrow, for better, for worse. I will love you with every beat of my heart. This moment, life has begun. From this moment, you are the one. Right beside you is where I belong. From this moment on, from this moment. I have been blessed. I live only for your happiness and for your love. I'd give my last breath from this moment on. I give my.
Ready? Ready. It's all ready. All right. A one, a two. 